Before starting this tutorial, please first clone this GitHub by Mark W. Silliman. Once that is cloned, you can continue on to these steps. You want to open a new terminal window and SSH into the TurtleBot. That is the IP of my TurtleBot. Now that we are successfully into the TurtleBot, we will want to run Minimal Launch. TurtleBot should beep when it is ready to go. Now that TurtleBot is ready, we'll want to open a new tab. Again, we will now want to run a command on the workstation. In this workstation, you want to run the command called goforward.py. This is a Python code that we downloaded off of the GitHub. This code allows the TurtleBot to go autonomously forward until you control C and tell it to stop. There is no obstacle avoidance, so if there's anything in its way, the TurtleBot will hit it. Press enter, you will now see TurtleBot move forward. Whenever you're ready, you can press Ctrl C to stop it. Now we can try something new. If you run a new command, you can have the TurtleBot go forward for three meters and avoid obstacles. In order to do this, we will need to load our map onto the TurtleBot. So again, we want to SSH into the TurtleBot. Now we want to run the map loading command, like so. My map is called my underscore map six and lives in my temp folder. Make sure you load the YAML file and not the PNG. Once you see Odom received, that means you're good to go, and the map is loaded. You want to, again, open a new terminal, but this time, instead of going onto the, work, onto the TurtleBot, we want to run these commands on our workstation. This command loads our, our viz, which will now display the map that you loaded onto your TurtleBot. This is my map that I loaded. Because TurtleBot does not know how to initialize its position, you will need to tell TurtleBot where it is before running any other commands. So in the top corner, there's a button called 2D Pose Estimate. You will click where your TurtleBot is, and once you click, you will see a green arrow move. That will indicate the direction TurtleBot is facing. Now that TurtleBot is initialized, we need to run one more command. Going back to Terminal, you can open another tab. This will also be run on your workstation. Again, we'll be running code from the GitHub download. Instead of goforward.py, it is goforward underscore and underscore avoid underscore obstacle.py. If there is an obstacle in its path, then the TurtleBot will go around it and avoid the obstacle but will still get to its destination, which is three meters forward of where it originally started, in the same direction it started in. If there is no obstacle in front of it, it will just go straight, three meters straight and then stop. If you click enter, you should see your turtle bot initialize its action and go forward, like so. Look, hooray, the base moved three meters forward. This is successfully completed and you have autonomously driven your turtle bot.